That's Jim. When he's about three years old. That's up at uh, on Mass Avenue. That's uh, Sherman's Pond. We used to call it. It's. Uh, I used to take him hiking when I was in uh, college. That's off of Mass Avenue, up uh, in the area of the Big Rock. That's Jim and uh, what's her name? You know, we used to go out hiking. This is behind my mother's house on Mass Avenue. <coughs> it's the same location, and that's when I had hair. You can see my uh, college shirt. That's another shot up at uh, Sherman's Pond. The pond used to f feed water to uh, a mill down below on Mass Avenue. That's uh, the brook that feeds into it. There was a spring behind our house, uh, probably about a oh, quarter mile behind. We used to go up there on hikes. That's up uh, towards the high tensions over by where the pier pans uh, used to live, over to the left of my mother's house. That picture was taken uh, behind Jim Garner's house, up uh, past the ledges at one of my old army barracks. That's my uncle, or Jim's uncle Ray. More army barracks. I think that's, uh, I think that's down in uh, Texas, but I'm not certain. Th this picture is over in Germany. That rocket-shaped thing in the center is where we used to store high explosives. And that's a, a barracks I probably lived in. That's a goat I met up at the monastery that was probably, oh, three miles away from our barracks. That's a wall in the monastery. There were uh, things like carved right in, bricked into it, you know, ornaments. I don't know if people were buried in it or, or, or they were just decoration. That was when we were on uh, like a volunteer job, setting up tents. That was uh, some kind of a gazebo that was out, I believe it was out by the monastery, but I forgot exactly now. Yeah, that's outside the monastery. People could come up and have lunches and picnics. Uh, rarely were, was anyone there other than me and the priest. I think that's part of my company standing guard, but I'm not certain. Yeah, these are the things that I mentioned on that cemented into that wall. They're just, you know, for starters, lovely decorations. And that's a picture of me. And there's my goats again. The goats did eat uh, cigarettes and, you know, candy bars, candy wrappers, anything you did offer them. You know, that's me pulling targets. And that's me uh, all gussied up for guard. This is from our barracks across to the, uh, the combat engineers. And this is another scene of when we were out setting uh, tents up. Yeah, these uh, ducks, swans, geese, whatever they are, I got arrested one time uh, feeding them. They're, they're in a little small pond right in the center of the geese, and, and uh, I was drinking a little bit, and I went in and just feeding them bread. And uh, the German police came along and very nicely asked me to uh, get out, and they brought me down to the station. I think that was like the other side of the, the duck pond. As I remember, they were very friendly creatures. I forgot that kid's name, but <clears throat> we're down, I think about four or five flights down inside the buildings on post. <clears throat> and they went into tunnels that uh, ran about 30, 40 kilometers into Frankfurt. It was 
used during the German war system, but the, the lower tunnels are all flooded now. Now the sergeant that's on top was wrestling with one of the kids. He carried me for about at least a half a mile. I leaped off of the howitzer and sprained my ankle. He carried me in his arms. He's a pretty rugged kid. The kid on the right is from Brooklyn. I remember that much. Uh, he was an Italian guy. Hell of a nice egg. Yeah, this is down in the tunnels again. The kid in the middle, is, uh, his name is Miranda, and the older guy is Vasquez. Now that's the Twilight Club, that's our enlisted men's club. You can go there and drink, play a slot machine, lose your money. We're real fighting men. Has had a firing range. I forgot even what I was doing there. I don't know if I was qualifying or trying out a guy's. One of the guys had, uh, Bushbaum, had bought a 357 Magnum. We used to take it down there to shoot. You know, we spent most of our time out in the, out in the woods. Yeah, that's my howitzer. Eight inch self-propelled gun. That's the front view of it. Accidents do happen. The same truck, same accident. And that's Simon Brissett and his wife. And that's me and my wife. And Simon Brissett, his wife, Fran and Barb. And I would assume that's at Barb's wedding. And that's Agnes and Jim when he was a baby over at their house on Adams Road. Agnes and Harold. Carol with all her crinolines. And I had a bit more hair there, but not much as you can see. And that Cy and his wife, and they're working on, uh, I think they were flashing the chimney. Obviously, this wasn't Jimmy's birthday. I don't really know whose it was, but it was someone's. I would say that's Barb, Carol, and Patty, and Harold. That's up at Maine. And that's Carol strutting her stuff. This is out back at my mother's house. And uh, we used to have a lot of snow back then. And that's our old Volkswagen Fastback. I think it was a 1967, but I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't swear to it. 67? Yeah, I think it was a 67. It's Harold, Agnes, and Carol at Carol's graduation. <clears throat> That's behind my mother's house. That's Jim buried in some leaves. That's Jim still buried in some leaves. That's a brook uh, up behind her house. That uh, leads into uh, that Sherman... Uh, I think we called it Sherman Dam or something. It's a pretty area. We, when I was in college, I'd take Jim and potatoes and can of beans. We'd go up and uh, have a picnic. That's Kelly. A little pumpkin. Full of piss and vinegar even then. This is the South Stream Mo. Uh, Waterfowl Preserve over in Pound, Vermont. We used to go fishing over there quite often. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, used to catch some, you know, very huge bass. There I am out in the boat. <coughs> it was a little uh, two-man life raft, actually. And that's Tippy. Jim used to feed Tippy uh, stones. <coughs> the dog would wind up with a mouthful of stones and he'd just like walk away and just sneakily spit them out. That's Carol, and Jim's over to the left, and then right close to him, on the right-hand side of him, towards Carol, I think is Kelly, in her pumpkin seat. That's Carol, I'm fixing to go somewhere, carousing probably. 
It's the swinging bridge up on the way to uh, Somerset. This is the dam of Somerset. I think this is the opposite end of the, the swinging bridge, but I'm not, I'm not at all certain. I used to like to take Carol across and start bouncing on it. It'd make her nervous. In the middle of this picture, I believe there's a little woodcock. You know, this was on the way to Somerset. And there's probably about 10 cars parked on the side of the road looking at this thing. And I guess it was like doing a mating dance. That's our Siamese, Teo and Tasha. <clears throat> and that's Carol, Kelly, and Kelly's godparents. Uncle Warren and Auntie Ann Hastings. And that was Jim's favorite way of sleeping. I believe that's Tail. Both the cats love to perch on the edges of the roof of the house. And that's when I was younger. I think that's Jim with his uh, first kite. Up at uh, Fiendock, as it was. I think it cost us $39 a week to stay there. And there's my sex kitten. She looks as good now as she did then. Level light. And that's the same, too. That hasn't changed either. That's me when I was uh, yachting. That's Carol in the ocean. That's me in the ocean. One of the eight times in uh, 30 years. And that's Carol and Jimmy up at uh, Nubble Light. Went, went to this island and I, and I found this Indian girl there. A, there's, there's the proof that I went there because there's a sail. And here I am landing. Here I am just looking back to where I came from. This is Somerset. It's, it's a beautiful lake. You could drink right out of it, you know, 20, 30 years ago. I don't really know how it is now. I hope it's the same way. And there's the Indian girl. Yeah. I threw her some, uh, some marshmallows and, uh, and she fell into my trap. And I brought her back. That's uh, Jim. And me, we went sailing up uh, at Uncle Glenn's camp up in uh, Windsor. I think both of us are somewhere in the boat, but I'm not certain. Maybe I went out by myself. And that's Jim and Kelly. And I'd imagine this is on the way to Somerset. Yeah. I'm probably on the way back because the Indian girl had to take my picture. Here she is dressed up. That's a, uh, I believe that's like a guest house or a restaurant. Uh, it was fairly close to post. You, know, you could get beer and sandwiches and you know meals there. It was like a, a regular restaurant. That's John Barr from uh, Pennsylvania. And I believe that's John Barr and Bobby Dryberg. These are some of the larger tents that we had when we were out in the field. Most of the time we had uh, smaller tents. The one on the left, I remember, is from Brooklyn. He's an Italian kid. Nice, nice guy. Yeah, they're all nice guys. All these trees were planted after the Second World War. <clears throat> Out in the woods, we had all the modern conveniences. <clears throat> yeah, that's Bobby Dryberg from Williamstown, Massachusetts, in uh, Miranda. <clears throat> Excuse me, Bushbaum is on the left. I think Vasquez was in the middle, and the guy next to the, uh, the ambulance thing, first aid thing, I, I don't remember his name. This might be another part of the monastery. I believe this is a park in the little town of Giesen. <clears throat> That's John Barr you know, twirling a rope, probably at Miranda. You know, I think he's got him around the neck. That guy's name was Oliver. I remember that. 
This is sort of like a, a little park area. You know, people would just go there and have picnics and, and you know, drink coffee and stuff like that, bring their families. This gym out behind my mother's house, a rose or a carnation or something. That's the old fastback. And uh, Joyce Gross's car. It had, had a lot of snow, you know, back then. I think more then than we did now. Yeah. This is just from one snowstorm. I think this is at uh, Patty's wedding. That's Carol, Barb, and Pat up at her uh, aunt and uncle's cottage up in Maine, up at Wells Beach. Carol, Agnes, and Jim. It's someone's birthday. I really don't know whose it was. It's the old blue willow plates. It's my dad's uh, Dodge van. That's all the snow on that is just from one snowstorm. It's me racing the wind. It's looking behind my mother's house, looking towards the grocer's house. I would imagine that Somerset, probably looking at Mount Snow. Although this is back over in uh, Windsor, up at uh, oh, Glen's cabin.